Another thing I've learned in my own experience is that in reality, there is no such thing like balancing life. There is such a thing as an opportunity cost sacrifice. Hello, you're welcome once again to my YouTube channel. My name is Beatrice Chimpi and I'm glad that you're in this space today. This is the place where we talk about everything self-improvement, self-development, reinvention in areas of marriage, stroke relationships, health, finances, career, and you know everything around that. If that's the kind of content that you would like, please consider subscribing, join the family, let's grow together. So today, as you've seen the title, we are going to talk about uh, how do we balance it all? Where does someone get time? to be a mother, to be a wife, to be a sister, to be a minister, to do side hustles. Where on earth is that time? Most of the time we ask or wonder and ask ourselves that question. And if you've clicked on this video, I know you're the kind of person who is like me in my shoes, just like any other women. We have so many hats that we have to put on, but sometimes we don't know how to do it. We don't know how to find the balance. By the time the month has ended, now kids are going back to school. You've not yet even checked their homework. You don't know how, you know, how each one of them answered the homework because you've been busy with your side hustle. Or your side hustle is uh, running berserk because you've been with the kids. Or your relationship with your husband is going sideways because you've been so busy with the children one or the other we have to just learn how to manage our time because there's not a much uh, there's not enough time in the world for us mostly mothers i know for also fathers but for us women there's not such enough time so we have to just find you know ways in which we can be productive in all these areas in our lives uh, so that we can at the end of the day be happy okay so today I'm sharing about my own productivity hacks yeah these are my own productivity hacks ways in which I've managed you know to keep on top of all these things that I have to do and so if you're interested and you've watched this far please subscribe let's join the family like and you know let's continue with the conversation one of the things i want us to know is that once time has gone or you've lost a certain you know block of time you will never get it back myself i've struggled to balance this kind of life and it was almost impossible for you to be on top of these things. Sometimes when I was too much in pursuing my education or attending to the toddlers, you would see it in, you know, your husband, you would see it when, sometimes maybe they will not tell you that you're not giving them enough time, but you will see them. You will know if you've stayed with someone for a long time, you will know something is missing. I've not given, been giving them time. But these down are the things that I've tried to do. Some of the to-do list, that I have on my plate as Beatrice are, I'm a wife, okay? That role has subsections. Then I'm a mother of four, ages 10, and another one going to make three. And they don't, each one of them has different expectations from you, different things they think they need from you, and they don't expect less than that they don't expect an absentee or a mom who is absent like mom is there but is not there okay then i have a job that i work on eight to five those are around two jobs and then i have side hustles i have family businesses that i have to be involved in I have ministry. I'm a born-again Christian, okay? I have ministry. I'm in the women's ministry. I'm in the marriage ministry. And I have key roles that I do there. These roles require me and my other team 
most of the time me to think about things that we have to do, the ones that I will disseminate down to the people that I work with, to the team members. They require you to think, each of these sections require you to think, like you cannot just wake up and call people, we are going for an, um, an outreach. You should have thought about it and you have to follow through in the planning. You have, you know, many, many things. But then where is that time? And each of these things are not small, they are not to be undermined. You have to be productive at each of them. And then one wonders how, mostly someone who is new to some roles, you're a new wife, you've been single, you're new, now you're married, then you became two, then now you've become three, now you're four, and now your husband has started a side business, and now you've gone back to school. Where on earth is that time? So as bitches, you know, all those roles already have other tasks under them. For my husband, I have to know that his things are organized in a certain way. Have you ever woken up as a wife and they ask you where the stockings are? And you don't know where the stockings are. Or you know, but on, on five pairs you only see two. And maybe he wants to put on the one that you don't even know where it is. Okay? At school, your kid just comes up and tells you, Can you imagine, mommy, today was my presentation day and you did not come? Like, you didn't tell me, oh my God. Today was a day that I had my match and you did not come. So it is so, as a person, you feel, you feel inadequate if such moments come to you where you feel like things have passed you by without you attending to them and you were the one who was supposed to attend to them. Okay? So how then does Beatrice do it? How do I do it? I, I break down most of those things in tasks, okay? If it is children, I have four, I've accepted them, okay? And so the one in a higher class has different uh, needs than the ones that are below. So each one of them, they have homework that I have to attend to. So I designate a day for each of them. For the books, Every day I have to go through the books, that one I know, because if I don't, I'll miss out on some things. I have, first of all, as a, as a woman, you have to get, you know, we shall have that video where we talk about the apps that are, you know, things that can help you to be more productive as a woman. Uh, I put some of the, my things in reminders, okay? I have notebooks. Some of my friends call me a headmistress, and they are not. I'm not a headmistress. I don't own a school, but you know, I, ha I always carry two bags. Those who know me, I always carry two bags. I have a small bag that is matching with my outfit. I have another bag. That bag inside it has several books. One day I'll bring for you that bag, <laughs> and you see, it has several notebooks. One may wonder why is Beatrice always having two bags, because I have notebooks for everything. I have a notebook about my relationship with my husband, things that I have to achieve, things that I'm working on, things that I didn't do yesterday, things that I'm looking at improving. I have a notebook about my children. Each child has a page. Each child has a page where I have to review certain things. If it's a mannerism that I want to work on, you know, you, as a parent, you don't want some things to catch you unaware and you know, how did this happen? How did my child become like this when I don't know? So. We shared you that, I shared you that kind of, I shared you, sorry, I shared you my time according to the tasks that I have. So number one is to, to, to work on having schedules. Schedules, schedules, schedules. It, was, it wasn't something that was easy for me. I struggled because as you're doing this, like you scheduled in the morning, you have to do this, then you remember you have to do another thing. Then as you're doing that, you also remember. I, I used to be a person who gets distracted so fast. So I've, I've, I've just learned how to stick by the schedule. If today it is a day for my firstborn, you know, to be looking at her work or doing something with her, it will be her. Even if something rises and it's supposed to be the second one who I have to look at, I stick by that, you know, um, by that schedule for that day. If another time comes, then I have to do, you know, a whole, I have to focus on that thing alone. 
I don't know if you get me. So I, I schedule my time. Then in that time that I've scheduled, I make sure I focus on that task that I'm doing. I don't get distracted no more. Yeah? As a mother, it's very easy. Or as a woman, it's very easy for you as you're focusing on your, on your husband. Then you realize, oh, I need to do my kid's hair. And then you leave the husband alone and then you run to do your kid's hair. Oh, as you're doing the kid's hair, you realize, oh, the, tree, the, flower, the leaves are so many in the compound. Then you want to sweep the compound. Focus, 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 focus. Do the right thing at the right time in the right place. You know that saying? So that you can be able to accomplish your things that you have to do. Don't get distracted. Shed your time. The other thing that I do to help me shed my time or to help me balance my life is combining tasks. It is not good, so good to multitask because you may be less efficient on one task than the other, but it is okay for you to do things simultaneously. What do I mean by that? For example, some of the tasks that I do are, right now I'm watching my, you know, improving on my health. How? By eating more healthy and exercising. So sometimes I do my exercises at home. Okay, so I do my exercise at, at home as I'm doing maybe my sit-ups or my jump, I skip propping. Uh, my, my daughter is asking me stuff that I have to answer. You know those primary school questions, some of them they are off head. She's doing her homework, she's enjoying mommy time and yet I'm exercising. Actually I enjoy, it, it makes my exercising time more, more enjoyable and more engaging. This is actually what I do. I do it while I'm with the children. And some of them are there, they are playing. So you're hitting two birds with one stone. You're giving them time, being present with them, they're enjoying your presence, and yet for you exercising. At the end of the day, you're achieving your goal of being healthy and of being more fit. And then for them, you're giving them time. These are two things that needed separate time but you've combined them together, okay? Another thing I normally do when I'm going to one of my jobs that I work uh, from a distance, it's quite far, uh, I go, I use public means, and so I normally edit my content when I'm traveling. So I make sure my gadget is well charged, I have my headphones, I sometimes even reach back, it's an, at almost two hours, a two hours drive, there's traffic. So I edit my content while I'm traveling, okay? S days that I'm, I'm supposed to cook or I'm supposed to do things around the house, like cooking, I cook while I'm training my children, house chores, all right? I'm cooking, either I'm cooking with her, she's uh, doing the onions, whatever she's doing, or she's washing utensils and I'm supervising, and yet I'm cooking dinner. All right? All right? Um, which other tasks? Uh, the other tasks that I do, I listen to motivational, uh, some of my best uh, motivational speakers while I'm doing things around the house, like cleaning my bedroom, organizing kid, the kid's bedroom, uh, doing uh, certain things around the house while I'm listening to my audio books, Motivational books, motivational speakers, according to what I want. Uh, some of my favorite um, sermons that I've heard and I want to hear it over and over again, I do that. Okay? So combining tasks is very, very, very important. Sometimes I'm listening to music. So you can look at the tasks that you have in your life. Your tasks might not be the same as I am. You may not be a parent as yet. You may not be married as yet. But you have tasks that you have to do. Maybe you're a student at, at school, but there's time that you use to travel to school. Get hold of that time. Listen to it a song that you wanted to listen to, listen to any YouTuber, watch any video that you wanted to watch as you're traveling to school. So at the moment you step school, then school business begins. The other things that I combine are my side hustles, like online side hustles. I check on them uh, during my lunch break. The ones like family side hustles, uh, uh, businesses, I check on them some evenings, not all. So that is how I manage my time. So 
it's very good if you can combine certain tasks like sometimes i want to catch up with my husband he comes back we have dinner together at night that's the time i catch up with my i love funny tiktok videos they just make me unwind and that's the time as we are eating i'm watching these uh, tiktok videos they are funny so i show him he also laughs we chat okay so these are two things that i'm doing so instead of you having your phone in your hands and being on tiktok throughout for over 30 minutes you can do that like like you're stealing certain a certain portion of your time which could have been uh, more you would have used more productively doing a certain task which is big you can do tiktok videos maybe when you're watching uh sorry waiting in a queue or a bank queue you decide that there are certain things that I will not give a certain amount of time that is productive. Like you cannot start watching, uh, let me say, your favorite movie early in the morning. This is your time that you have that is very, very crucial for you to. If you're a writer, you're writing. If you're meditating, you're meditating. These other things that are small that you can do them, you know, later. So combining tasks is very, very important. It has helped me as a person to keep on top of the game sometimes i'm doing my kids hair but i'm watching something that i always watch some of the things that i no longer do so much like i used to i used to love series i used to love series but realize that some of these are pg rated you cannot watch them so i watch sometimes reality uh, tv shows while i'm plating my hair or i'm watching a, a movie with them while i'm doing their hair so hitting two birds with one stone Whoever seeks to balance life and they have not struggled with discipline, I salute you. Myself, this has been my struggle for the longest of the time. I've tried to achieve certain things in my life or I've tried to balance my life. It has been discipline. Discipline, discipline, discipline. This is the other aspect I'll tell you to master if you're to live a balanced life. If you have, if you want to have that work-life balance, you have to be disciplined. There is no shortcut to it. Whatever it is, I enjoy morning sleep, but there is a time when you reach and you have certain things that you want to achieve. You want to do things, balance things, but if you're not disciplined enough to know that you cannot have a morning nap because this morning you have to be writing a book because this morning you have to be exercising, because this morning you have to be dropping kids to school, there's no way you can balance life, okay? So the other thing, hack that I'll give you is mastering self-discipline. It doesn't come easy, I'll not tell it comes easy. For some people it really does, maybe because of your upbringing, but for some of us it's been a struggle and it still is, but we are a work in progress. Discipline is very, very important. Self-discipline, an extreme importance, all right, for you to be able to achieve your dreams or to be able to balance your life. So discipline to follow through on your diet, discipline to follow, follow through on uh, your exercising schedules, discipline on following through to the book that you're reading. Which book are you reading? But are you disciplined enough to say that in one week I should be finishing it? In discipline, it also requires you to set tasks that you can achieve. Okay? Smart, you know, achievable tasks. Don't set for yourself tasks that you cannot achieve. Uh, those days when I was still struggling with, you know, I'm still struggling with balancing life. But when I had not mastered certain things... I would set ambiguous, uh, they call it ambiguous, yeah, <laughs> that's the word, they call it ambiguous, like big, huge tasks, in that when you do it one day, two days, by the third day, you're like, <sighs> like it's like a mountain, let me give you an example, I'm enjoying my, my ladder of, my journey of health and wellness, and you know whatever i'm working on right now i'm enjoying the best i'm enjoying is the journey to, to becoming healthy and fit why am i enjoying i've set myself simple tasks that i can achieve and they can like my discipline allows 
for me to follow through those simple tasks. Instead of you saying that you're going to exercise for one hour, okay? Daily for six days in a week. Just say I'll exercise for 10 minutes daily for three days. It's very easy for you to, you know, to keep improving than for you to set a goal like that. One hour means that by the third day, you're broken and you know, your body cannot take it anymore. And so you're, you're in discipline, you know, it fuels your indiscipline. So you feel like I can't even go to the gym today because I'm feeling, so you, you won't follow through you know, you're di because you want to be disciplined, it will not be easy for you to be disciplined because you've set yourself tasks that are very high, okay? Tasks that are very big. So set tasks that are small and achievable and this will help you tremendously. Another thing that has helped me out in balancing life is making commitments. Making commitments. Commitments are so funny or are so good in a way that you feel like you don't want, maybe it has rained and you don't want to do something that you're supposed to do in the evening, but because you're committed, you'll find yourself following through to go and achieve or, or complete that task just because you committed. Let me give you an example. I'm not normally the person who picks my children up from school. But it is a must for me a week to get a day that I go to school and check on, on their teachers and check on their books because of, of, of reasons that you know very well if you don't, uh, things will fall apart in one way or the other. But how do I achieve this even when you feel like you've left work late and you're extremely tired, you can't go to school? After all, they are going to bring them or they are going to pick them. Instead of you going to, going direct to home, you'll, I'll end up going to school and doing what I'm supposed to do. I committed like a certain day in a week. So how do I commit? I tell the teacher. So this person doesn't know that you are committed. How do they call that partner? A commitment partner? They don't know. They are an, inv they are an invisible commitment partner. So they know mommy so-and-so is supposed to come every week on a certain specific day and so they will wait for you if a child is struggling with something if they did something they'll be like i know the mother is going to come since you're, you 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 have a reputation to keep you you'll know and say ah, let me just go to school because teacher so-and-so is expecting me so commitments help you to drive you to do things that you wouldn't have done because something has come up Okay, maybe you have a gym trainer, but you know for them they are good at keeping time and you know every certain day you have to be there. It will help so much if you commit to them. For them they don't know that you want, you, you, they are an invisible commitment partner. But for you because of that you will be able to go to work out uh, even when it rains because you know this trainer is waiting for you. So that's how I've also managed commitment. At one of the side hustles that we have, there's a person who always asks me, I'm sorry about the noise, the kids are in holiday. Sorry. But um, there's this one person who will ask me, uh, are you going to come tomorrow? But I know very well I'm not going to be able to pass by tomorrow. But because she has asked, I'll be like, uh, I'll come on a certain day. Because, like, she just wants me to come. So when that day comes, whether it has rained, I'll have to go because I committed to her that I have, I'll be there. So commitment, if you commit to certain things, it will help you a lot in, you know, balancing your life and, and you know, streamlining you, forcing you to do things that you don't want to do. Sometimes balancing life calls for us to, you know, the time is there, but you just find yourself becoming lazy to do certain things. And then at the end of the day, complaining that there wasn't time. Okay? So commit to certain tasks and it will help you. Another thing I've been struggling with, I'm at Bible College. And I found myself compiling a lot of assignments. 
assignment of like over 20 assignments and you know you would find that at the end of the day you don't have time to do that work i just committed and squeezed time you know early morning time where you know actually it's been holiday for kids and i've worked on most of my assignments because i transferred that time that i was supposed to be dropping kids to school to now doing my assignments the old beatrice would be like hush now it's holiday it's time for sleeping no i committed and i said this time i was using to drop kids i'm going to use it to do my assignments and that's the same time I wake my daughter up because I have certain things. There are no, there's not enough time for me to look at her holiday work. As my, you know, for you may have the time. Me, I don't have time during the day to look at her holiday work and the followers. So that is the exact time I use to, you know, to sit down with them, talk to them about certain things, uh, do devotion with them, uh, you know, talk about stuff for a short time. They even know it is 6 a.m., we are praying for 15 minutes or 20. After praying, uh, everyone is going to show me what they are struggling with. Like that. So this has come because I've committed to doing this thing. And if you don't wake them up in the morning, they will tell you, Mom, you didn't wake us up. So it's a commitment. They are like commitment partners, but they also don't know. So I, I think that's enough with commitment, but I think you've got the point. Just get a commitment partner who is invisible and it will help you just, you know, go through life, you know, while balancing it easily. Another thing I've learned in my own experience is that in reality, there is no such thing like balancing life. There is such a thing as an opportunity cost sacrifice. We make sacrifices to do certain things. What do I mean by this? I'll give an example. All of us mothers, wives, women, maybe, maybe to you who I'm speaking to, you don't get such a thing, but I get tired through the week that I look forward to sleeping early in the morning on Sunday. But how then can I sleep early in the morning on Sunday? Let me say, okay, have not really sleeping early in the morning, but having extra you know, hours of sleep. When we have to go for church. Like Sunday is this day which I look forward to catching up with stuff at home. You know, my husband knows people around me know that is the day. I think my, my husband sits and, and wonders when I this woman. We are going to church. Why then again start scrubbing, scrubbing here and there? That is the time I enjoy homemaking. That is the time when I'm like, this kitchen needs rearranging, needs scrubbing this. Because at, uh, again, it may be in the evening there's somewhere I have to be. Or in the evening there are some other things I have to do. So, opportunity cost, what do I mean? I sacrifice my sleep to do or catch up with things that I have to do at home. Important things that have waited. Maybe the Clothes are in, you know, not orderly. That is a time I'll organize them. Maybe after in the evening I'll not be there. Uh, very few evenings I'm home on Sunday. So it means that I have to utilize my time in the morning. So what do I mean by this? Balancing life, the reality is it may never happen. You just have to sacrifice certain portions of your life or certain portions of time to do things that you uh, they are, they are, you're back on to do things that you have not yet done or things that you know you have to do. So, as we balance life, we need to sacrifice time. We need to know that there is opportunity cost where like, you have to just know your way. Both things, sleep or scrubbing the bathroom. Sleep or cooking breakfast for people, for you know your family. So, that is how it is as we balance our lives i pray and hope that this video has helped you you can give me your experience how do you balance your life as a wife as a mother according to the things that we've you know we've talked about how do you manage to balance all these things and still be there one of my friends was struggling she had just gone back to school she had a business she all her clients were were used to her and now she's back to school. The clients are refusing to be. How do you how do you do that? 
you know how do you make sure your business is still thriving and yet your 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 school life is still thriving and yet and then your relationship with your husband is also thriving how do you do that comment in the sections below let's help each other uh, till next time i'll see you in the next video like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell till next time i'm beatrice chimpy bye